video, it's Tammy with Real Southern Woman. I promised y'all I would be back today, and it's better late than never, right? Um, down here, we are in Florida, and I didn't have uh, something nice to be able to go live on without having Chris to video me. And I really didn't want Chris to video me while I did my Bible study. I wanted to be able to come to y'all live without him doing that. I'm going to bring this down just a little bit. So I went to Walmart. Me and Chris went to Walmart. Just a second. I bring this down a little bit. Now that I got y'all on here, I can kind of see how everything looks better. Anyway, we went to the Walmart down here. We found a tripod. And the coolest thing was we thought we were going to have to rig up something to put the phone on the tripod. But it actually came with a little clip that screwed onto it just like a camera would. And we were able to uh, use my telephone with a tripod. I was like, how exciting is that, y'all? So uh, I get to come on and finally do some Bible study with y'all. And I know it's been a while. Um, my, my schedule, of course, is still off because we're in Florida. Chris decided to go fishing. The wind is blowing pretty hard down here, so I don't think he'll do very well. Of course, he may. We went yesterday, and it has rained down here. Uh, Chris made a joke yesterday. He said, it's rained every day of the year this year. But, of course, this is just the fourth, so that was four days. Well, he said that yesterday was three days. Um, I'm hoping y'all can hear me. I've got my little uh, Bluetooth over here, I'm, and I'm talking probably too loud. Because my air conditioner's on, and when I'm in this little trailer and the air comes on, it's like, I feel like, you know, that's all you can hear in here is the air conditioner. Um, but, let me move this again. I'm just going to move it. Look, we haven't even taken the chairs off the table back there since we've been here. We've been here a few days. That I did cook a little bit yesterday and went live. Uh, and I've been so bad since I've been here, y'all. I don't know if y'all been bad or not with the holidays and all. But we bought my favorite thing in the world to eat. One of my favorite things is Keebler Pecan Sandy, Sandy Cookies. Oh, my gosh. I could eat the whole box at one time. And most of the time, um, most of the time, uh, I don't buy cookies at all, and if I do, I buy stuff that I won't eat, like chocolate chip or I buy the kids' Oreos, and I very rarely touch them. But if I buy a bag of those pecan sandies, I don't want to stay out of them, and they're so fat and, and so bad for you because um, they're so full of sugar and stuff. So anyway, I've got to do better with that, um, but we're having fun down here, and that's what matters, right? Okay. I've actually got the book that's our Bible study on my Kindle as well. It don't, it don't cost that much to buy it on the Kindle as it does in the store. And let me just say this. I did come out with my cookbooks on uh, not on Kindle, but they're on Nook, which is, you know, the only thing about that is you can't, if you want to buy something on the Nook, you can't see it on your computer. Um, you can see it on a phone. You can see it on a device like this, but you can't see it on the computer, um, and you can't print it either. So, um, I don't think you can print it. Um, Y'all can let me know, but anyway, on the Kindle, Amazon just takes so much of your money every time. Like, when I sell my books through Amazon, for every book, they get about $7. It's crazy, y'all. So, for the Kindle, if I were to sell a, nine, a, a cookbook for $9.99 on Amazon, they would take, I think I would get 30% or something like that, um, which is crazy. I mean, they just, I don't know. But everybody loves using Amazon because it's so convenient. You, you just got to click it. You don't have to put your stuff in and all that. Anyway, I was going to show y'all this. Uh, let me let me turn this on. This is a Kindle. It works just, the Nook and the Kindle work just alike. But I downloaded our Bible study book, and I also downloaded my favorite version of the Bible, which is King James. And I also like, I don't know why this thing's doing this. 
I also like the amplified version. Um, I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to close this book. Shoot. Y'all, I hardly ever use an Apple product. I'm using Chris's iPad. Cancel. Okay. And on this iPad, you can see, y'all can't, I mean, it's going to be backwards, but this is my new Jesus. Um, it's called Jesus, Our Perfect Hope. That's our new study book that we'll be using this year. And it's 365 days of studying. And it's really, really nice. I think that y'all are really going to enjoy it. And when you click on it on here, um, it's cheaper. So I'm going to kind of show y'all how to use this. If you, if you, sorry, but I'm moving this again so y'all can be, get better lighting. I'm going to show y'all how to use this so that if you decide to buy it on a Kindle or a Nook or something like that, you can. But anyway, this is the book. Um, this is today's reading. It's January the 4th. And if you click in the middle, there's a button at the top that's an A button that shows a text. And it will let you change the background to black or sepia or green with black writing. You can also change how it looks on the page, like you can make it look like two pages, like that, like you would if you open the book, or you can put it on a single page, like this. Um, you can make it small or big, etc. So the reason, one reason I'm telling you all this is sometimes when you open an ebook, it looks so crazy because. Uh, the text is small or the text is big or it's set on a different setting and you can only see a little bitty part of the book. And if it's like that, let me just say, all you got to do is go in there and play with that A, the text size, the way it's shaped on the page, the background imaging and stuff, and then you can get it like you want it so that you can read it. The same thing will go for the recipes if you do download my ebook. Ebooks are so much cheaper than buying real books, of course, because you don't have the production of printing or the mailing of them. They're just instant. So, of course, they cost less. Um, so, a, an ebook would be great for y'all to buy for this Bible study because I believe this book um, in a Christian bookstore or something like that is pretty expensive. But to buy it as an ebook, it's not. So, anyway, just I thought I'd tell y'all that. I'm going to click, I'm going to go ahead and click on my screen, go back to the amplified version, and we're going to start with some scripture, um, because I want to uh, get us in perspective of where we need to be today. Now, this is really the beginning of our Bible study, so um, I'm glad that you guys are here. Uh, let's see, Lillian, Amy, let's see who else, Jewel, um, And Kathleen Hamilton. Uh, and there's probably more of y'all here. Y'all just haven't said hello yet. But can I just say this? We've come down to Florida. I'm behind on my work, and I don't even care. We've got a project due in, a, uh, in another week. Me and Chris are working on an architectural project. It is a two-story office building that will be built in the county we live in. And he's out fishing, and I'm in here. I took a nap today, y'all. I've just had the best time. Um, I didn't bring the dogs with me, and it's like a real vacation, you know, because normally I miss them. I do miss them, but it's just so different, you know, when you don't have any responsibility, not even to have to feed the dog. Um, let's see. So I just want to tell y'all, it's really nice down here. Um, I'd love for it. I would love for somebody to come down here every once in a while. If y'all want to, I don't care for real. I'm serious. If you ever want to come down to Pensacola and stay with me and Chris for a few days, you're more than welcome. Uh, just send me a message. If you can get transportation and get down here, then once you're here, I mean, it's a trailer and it's not fancy or anything. So, um, you know, it ain't going to be like staying at the Hilton or nothing. But if you'd like to, uh, we'd like to have you down here. Let's see, let me go and let me close this book and I'm going to go back to our Jesus Perfect Hope book. And this is our Charles Stanley, Jesus' Perfect Hope. 
but first we're going to go into my Amplified Bible. We're going to be in John verse 1, which is my favorite verse, one of my favorite verses in the whole Bible. I just love it. Uh, and the way this thing, it always brings me back to Acts. So let me, let me scroll over to John. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. John. Okay. I got to get to chapter 1. John chapter 1. Ebooks are not always easy to navigate inside, but once you get there, you know, you're doing pretty good. It's worth it. Okay, John 1. Okay, it says, this is one of my favorite things to read in the whole wide world, because it just gives me so much hope, and I hope it does y'all too. But it says, John 1, in the beginning, and this is the Amplified Version, and all the Amplified Version is really, is the New King, I mean, is the King James Version studied. So it just kind of puts a few words in there. Doesn't take any words out. It just amplifies what's there, which I like. It says, in the beginning, before all time, was the Word. And the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was present originally with God. All things were made and came into existence through him. And without him was not even one thing made that is come into being. In him was life. And the life was the light of men. And the light shines on the darkness for the darkness has never overpowered it. Now, what happens with the Amplified Bible is I'll give you an example. Uh, John 1, verse 1, it says, in the beginning, and then in the bracket, it says, before all time, and then it has another bracket. So that shows you what they're telling you. You know, they're expanding it. So in the beginning, before all time, like this verse says, um, the light shines on in the darkness, for the darkness has never um, overpowered it. Now, it's going to tell you what that means, overpowering it. It says put out or absorbed it or appropriated it and is unreceptive to it. That's in a bracket. So it gives you like definitions. It's like taking the King James Bible and picking up not a commentary, but a uh, biblical dictionary and looking at passages, and it expands, it's so funny because I know when I first bought my Amplified Bible that I read out of, that's my, you know, like a Bible that you can hold in your hand. Chris used to teach a lot of, uh, in our Sunday school classes and stuff. And he would pick up his Bible, and he would study, and he would study what he was going to teach about. And it was so funny because he'd get, he'd say, okay, team, let's talk about this. And I'd say, okay, and i pick up my Amplified Bible. And when I read the scripture, I already knew everything he had looked up because it expanded it for me. And he was like, I, I'm like, Chris, it, it's, it's just right here. You know, I don't have to go out of my way to uh, figure out uh, what it means because it expands it for me. So if you have a hard time understanding the Bible, my, my thing would be, Instead of buying a different version of the Bible, buy the Amplified Bible because it's just wonderful. Um, but with that said, in the beginning was the Word, and we all know that the Word is Jesus Christ. Um, now we're going to go to our Bible study. This is Jesus, Our Perfect Hope by Charles Stanley. We're going to go to January the 4th. It's called The Word of Prayer. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was... Oh, I'm sorry. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. John 1.1. 1, 1. We know this is what Charles Stanley has to say today for our devotion. I'm having to look at y'all sideways. Let me do this. Okay. 
Try to get used to this tripod. Okay. It says, um, we know that in the beginning the Lord spoke the world into creation. God said, let there be light. And there was light. That's in Genesis chapter 1, verse 3. His agent of creation was his word. And John chapter 1, 14 through 18, tells us that his word has a name. It's the name Jesus. So once you read in more into chapter the chapter 1 of John, He'll go on and tell you when he says in the beginning was the word and the word was with God. He tells you who that word was and that is Jesus Christ. And that's why really the Bible is all about Jesus. It is the word of God. It is, it, it points us to Jesus. That's what it's for. And to let us, like the Old Testament's there to let us know how God communicated with his people and how he longed to be close to them. Um, and then the New Testament shows us how he actually broke that barrier uh, that Adam created between man and God through Jesus Christ and how Jesus is now our way to God. Um, and God is Jesus and Jesus is God and there's the Trinity, the Trinity, which is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And that's what's so hard for a lot of people to understand or comprehend but you know, God don't always ask us to understand anything. He just asks us to believe. Um, and if you don't believe me, just look that up. And you won't find. Uh, now, he does like for us to study and show ourselves approved. Uh, but he doesn't really believe in the Lord, belief in the word of God. It all is. It all comes from faith. And so um, that's really what it comes from. Okay, it says in Hebrews 7, 25, we read that Jesus lives to make intercession for us. Think about that. The one who carried out creation is the one who prays for you. But consider what that means, what happens when he speaks out his desire to help you. The same voice that called the universe into existence is moving people, engineering situations, and orchestrating circumstances so as to carry out his wonderful will for your life. He declares the details, the limits, the solutions of your experiences, all to teach you, to prepare you, and to draw you closer to him. Jesus uses his unfathomable spirit, well, no, wisdom. He uses his wisdom and creative power in order to help you. So when you grow disheartened, remember who your advocate is. He was there before the beginning. He is God, and he always speaks for your good. Praise Jesus' holy name. Jesus, with a word, you make all things possible for me. I trust you and I praise you. Amen. That's Charles Stanley. So what he's letting us know here is with that verse, we know that the word was Jesus. The word was with God when he created the word. Jesus was with God when he created the world. And Jesus is actually our advocate to the Father. So he is our way uh, to the Father through prayer. Um, and without Jesus, we could not pray to God the Father and have a direct line of communication to a holy God because we are so unholy. When God looks at us after we're saved, he doesn't see us. If he did, he'd probably turn his head. Uh, and I know that's hard for some of you to acknowledge or whatever, but he sees Jesus Christ. And because he can see Jesus Christ through us, that's what gives us a way um, to reach God. Otherwise, we wouldn't be uh, worthy enough. We're still not worthy. I mean, it's Jesus Christ who makes us worthy. And the belief that we have in him and the trust we have in him. Um, so, I hope you are having a blessed day. 
let me see if anybody else has signed on. Patricia and Donna and Sheila, Kathy and Linda. Hey, Linda. Um, so I just hope y'all have a blessed day. Um, I will come on, even if we're in the truck one day, I'll come on and go ahead and do our Bible study. Um, I did have to go and try to get this tripod today, so I'm a little late, and I also took a nap. But I will try to uh, get on here earlier, you know. I tried to do it, I was doing it really early, but um, since some of you live across the United States, uh, for me to come on early, it's kind of a disadvantage to you guys. So I'm going to try to always come on around 11 o'clock, 11.30, something like that. Uh, and that's Eastern time to just kind of give you an idea. Um, I just hope that y'all are having a blessed day. And it's beautiful here. The sun is shining finely. The wind is blowing. And um, I'm hungry. I'm thinking about getting up and cooking something good to eat for supper. Uh, we have a nice big steak in there that's really calling my name, but I'm not real sure if that's what I want to do. Um, but let's say our prayers, and I'm glad that y'all were patient and waited on me, and I hope to see all of y'all here. I hope I have a good, um, you know, uh, group of you guys for the new year, and if you want to uh, get the book, it is uh, Jesus, Our Perfect Hope by Charles Stanley. There is another book that I may read out of some. Um, and I, I've got that, I believe, on a link on my uh, page. And it's by Blackaby. Um, two men, and their last name is Blackaby. God, I didn't bring that book with me, and I haven't downloaded it off the Kindle. I just stayed with the Charles Stanley for now. But the great thing about them is um, they have... You know, something for each day. And there's there's not a lot to read. And that's why we really do both of them easy uh, if we wanted to. But y'all, you know, y'all may just want to get one. But both of the books are really good. I'm just rattling on today. Um, so let's say our prayers. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much. We thank you for our life that we have here on this earth. We thank you for your son. Jesus Christ, who came down and gave his life for us so that we could have an abundant life here on the earth. I hope and pray that you help us have, um, that, that we think about, think on good things, that we think on all the positive things that are in our life, all the positive things that you have done for us, all the positive things that you show us and that you make available to us. And not just dwell on the negative things in our life. I hope that we can be positive so that we can be an encouraged, uh, an encouragement to others. So our light will shine. So people will want what we have, uh, because they'll see the love that you've given us, Lord, so that we can show it to other people. Um, be with all of us today as we go throughout our day. Keep us safe. Keep our family safe. Keep our friends safe. And um, be with those who have special needs, and you know what those are. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. I love y'all. Um, I've got some, I've got to decide what to make for supper. I wish, I'm going to call Chris, and if he's game, we may go out to eat since it's Friday night. If he's not, then I'm going to have to get up and cook. So if I get up and cook, y'all may see me on CBC. I'm not sure. Bye. I love you.